Hilton just showed up and we're going to check out his new setup this is a stock 2JZ GTE with a boost lab 6870 now on it I can't wait to fix that startup Catch you later when there's super rods on the floor. <laughs> nice. Stock super rods, by the way. Stock rods, fully stocked, two JZ. Oh, look at that. That's fine, you can worry about it. Today at the dyno, we're with Elton. Elton, say what's up. What? Yeah. The, the one that broke. <laughs> so, uh, this was a 7675 bone stock 2 Jay Z, a T56 trans on AEM. So now we put a 6870 dual ball bearing to shift the power band to the left. What do you think it's gonna do? Get it? <laughs> so what we're going to do is shift the power band to the left. This is a street car. The other turbo was full-time drag car turbo. So. Super sweet ride. Check it out. bit of riser mode right there, no big deal. We're going to start out on low power, see how the power band works. Robbie always doing a great job helping us out. Careful, that pipe will burn the shit out of you. Oh, that's right on your wiener bubble. beginning to think maybe the wideband sensor is malfunctioning but uh, after reading the fuel pressure during a pull the fuel pressure drops clear indication that the fuel pump is failing this fuel pump we've ran for a year at 650 horsepower and it's just a out-of-the-box Walbro 450 so um, we're changing it now to a uh, Hellcat pump that they brought with them. I don't know if they expected this to happen or what, but it turns out uh, they brought a fuel pump, so they pulled it out and they're changing it now. That rubber line specifically is notorious for blowing and splitting open. I can't tell you how many countless Hondas have experienced that same problem. Oh, this one? That line is notorious for blowing. Splitting with a pressure drop like that. Oh yeah, that time, that time with the Z. Oh yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was the plastic. Oh, 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 oh. It was the plastic line that split. Right? Yeah, it happens all the time. 
so make it. Maybe look at that one just see if it's not broke. <laughs> Maybe the pump is up there. It's true. That's true. Let's inspect that line for a hole. Yeah, they did, buddy. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah? How about I kick you in the back of the knee, asshole? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is pretty fucked up, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. That's probably from the junkyard. From the, from the park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that car was in my neighborhood. Oh, the 85 don't do that. Yeah, no, yeah. It it's, it's just right? wet. Look, it's just like you have your butt when you get wet. <laughs> wow. 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 I want to get that ass out of it. La va con que? Con el break. La break que tiene aquí. Break que tiene. Break que tiene. Yeah, break que tiene. This thing is broke. Look at this thing is broke. Torn? Oh, the thing inside is broken. Woo! Smells like a whiskey. No, Musha! <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what goes. This is what goes into um, building a high-power car, only because you know people think you just buy the parts and put them together. Well, sometimes they don't always work. This pump does have a year of over 600 horsepower already, though. How long? I mean, not, not really. How long have we had that car running at good power? What about you? Really? Something like that, right? Seven months. Seven months is a year to car months, guys, bro. It's a year. You was living, but you've been working for it for two months. When'd you buy your BMW with the 2JZ? <laughs> I just need to buy that thing. You want to buy it off me? Yeah, I do actually. If you need a few little daily with seven hundred. Be careful because you'll crack that housing. What's up, man? Alex has a uh, GS300 with a 2JZ GTE in it for sale. Anyone watching wants to buy it? 19,500. Uh, buy it. Buy it now. Click now. Lower link. Link in the description.